Next, we want to add a text field into our storyboard here. And what a text field will allow us to do is to enter information. Apple takes care of presenting the keyboard, although we will have to manually dismiss the keyboard ourselves. So in order to add a text field, go into your object library. So we're going to make sure we have the third option here. We can remove our search, and we can search for text field, or we can scroll down and find it ourselves. So it's right underneath the segmented control here. We have our text field. And we can drag this into our project. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this a bit so we have a bit more space to write something. And I'll center this up like so. Now let's hook this up to our viewcontroller.h file. So remember how we opened up the ccviewcontroller.h file. We held down the Alt key and pressed on ccviewcontroller.h. And we're going to add an IB outlet because we want to be able to access the information in our text field. We don't need to be told or we don't want some sort of logic to occur. And when we enter information into our text field, we want the logic to occur when we press our button. And we've already created an IB action for that. So we're going to hold down the control key. And with our text field selected, and we're going to confirm that in our scene outline here, we can control drag right below our other IB outlet here. And we could actually even make this an action. That would be all right. But we want to use an outlet connection for the code we want to write. So we're going to go ahead and call this text field. Notice that I'm using camel case. The F is capitalized here. It's very important that when you write things, even if you want to use your own names, you're consistent. So if you use a capital F here and you try to access it with the lowercase, lowercase f later on, your computer program won't work properly. Our type is going to be UI text field and our storage type is going to be strong. We can press connect. And let's go back to single view. So you can press on the single view here on the top. And we're going to go to ccviewcontroller.m. And now that we have a property called text field, we're going to be able to update our labels text property to reflect or be the information in our text field. So the way we access the information in our text field is we say self.textField. Right? So this is the second example right, where we've been able to access one of our view objects right, using this self keyword. And text field also has a property text. So when I press my button, whatever text is in the text field will get set equal to or will update the labels text property. There's one other thing we want to do here, and that's we want to make the keyboard go away ourselves. So let's go ahead and run our application first. So we can take a look at what this currently looks like. So let's go ahead and we can type something in here. Let's say, hey. And if we press the press me button, we see hey updates it, but the keyboard is still here and that's, that looks pretty ugly. So let's go ahead and fix that. In this method, we're going to say self.textField and we're going to say resign first responder. Oh man, we got some new syntax here. Instead of using this equal sign, which sets a value, right? we're setting the text property of our title label. Here we're using bracket notation. And notice that all of our statements in Objective-C end in a semicolon. Well, what that means is every time we write a line of code here, we have to add a semicolon at the end. But the reason we have brackets here is we're doing what's called a method call. Now, I mentioned earlier that button press was a method. And we could, in fact, call this button press method inside of the button press method and do something what's called recursion. However, we're not going to do that right now. Instead, we're going to focus on making our keyboard go away. And basically what this is, is the way I tell an object to do some sort of action or to make some sort of code evaluate, I call a method. And in order to call a method, I have to use this bracket notation. And again, don't panic if this looks completely crazy. Just make sure you're getting it in there correctly with the correct syntax. And we'll be covering methods and method calls quite extensively throughout our course together. So you'll be an expert by the time you get through all of our material. So for now, we're just calling this method which tells my text field, hey, you should make the keyboard go away. So let's go ahead and rerun our application. And 
Now let's go ahead and enter some information and notice that the keyboard doesn't just go away right here, right? If I press the return key, keyboard isn't going away. It's only when I press the button that the keyboard now goes away because I told the keyboard to go away when I press my button, right? So all of the logic inside of this method or all of the logic inside of these curly braces evaluates them. Cool, so let's go back to the storyboard and there's one final update we wanna make here. And unique to text fields is this placeholder attribute. Again, I'm gonna make sure I have this attributes inspector selected here. And with placeholder text, I can tell the user or give the user some hints. So enter information. And what this will do is when the user starts typing, it'll make this placeholder go away. All right, so let's see how that works. We rerun our application one more time here. Ah, Try to run it twice. And we see enter information. Now when I click in, and I start to type, we see that the placeholder text gets removed. Right? But if I delete, we see that the placeholder text comes back. So we were able to add our own placeholder in order to customize our text field a bit.